Good day everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to make a personalized Facebook frame. Let's go to Facebook.com. Log in your account. On the upper left corner of your monitor, go ahead and search Camera Effects. I'm just waiting for it to load and there you go down here on Saritas Grocer you can see a link over here highlight the URL you can see in there copy it make a new tab paste it on the search bar And it will redirect you to Facebook's developers page. You can see here an option to create frame. Click that one. Alright, so I already made two frames. That's why you can see two frames over here just click this open frame studio on the upper right corner of your monitor and then the create frame function will pop up on your desktop okay before this i already made a png of the frame that i want to use it's on my dropbox okay so i made this one you can go to photoshop and edit your logo in there or whatever frame you want to use of course you can make it personalized all right so let's go back in here i'm just going to click this upload art button and go ahead and locate the image that you want to use for me, it's in this folder, the frame.png, click open. Alright, so this is the logo that I made and you can drag this one to make it bigger. And you can see that there are um, different previews here. This will be the preview if it's square. And this will be the preview if it is circle. Usually you can see it in mobile. So you just have to fit it. So I want it to be on the middle. Maybe make it bigger so it will be more readable. Okay, there. So you have to make sure or imagine if there's a face on this circle, that the face will not be covered. So I think this is how I want it to be. You can also use the arrow to control the position. And when you're done, just click next. Then you will provide the name of your frame so that when the people wants to use it they can search it on the Facebook frames so for this one I wanna name it join us live HBBC join us live so that will be my name and make sure that it's available anywhere and then schedule make active straight away all right for the keyword I'll just put HBBC oops there you go you can put up to 10 keywords I'll just put live HBBC live so when people search HBBC or when people search live on the search function of the Facebook frame 
this um, personalized frame will appear then click next if you want to preview it on mobile you can click that but I'll just click next all right so you can also see the preview here this is how it will appear then publish once you've submitted your frame you won't be able to change the frame name or owner so make sure that all the information and all the and the positioning is final when you're going to publish it because you will not be able to edit it then click ok publishing effect all right it just took second your frame has been published then click done all right so congratulations you have your first personalized facebook frame let's click this one this is the one i recently made hbbc join us live okay you can copy this link and for me i'm going to pose it on our chat group so that they would know that i created this frame okay and then i'm going to post this on my timeline too So that people will see that I created this new frame. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and try to update my profile picture. Let's try the frame. So I'll just choose a photo over here. I'm sorry, you see a lot of pictures. I'll just choose this one. There you go. And Alright, so save. Okay, so yeah, I forgot to add a frame. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add a frame. right so you just click the update icon over there add frame let's try to search hbbc since that's my keyword okay so here it appeared so just click on that drag and reposition your face okay so there you go that's my frame all right so use as profile picture click that all right your profile picture has been saved successfully click ok and here I got my Facebook frame. Alright, so I hope you learned something from my tutorial today. And I hope you try to make your personalized Facebook frame too. And go ahead and comment down below if you did. And just ask me if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel if you haven't been subscribed yet. And like this video if you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye!